Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna just talk about the market today. It was a crazy, crazy day on FIFA Ultimate Team. It's probably not gonna be a super long video um, because we just came off a insane live stream tonight, uh, packing a ton of Team of the Season cards because the content that we got today in Foot, which was actually a pretty massive day of content on Monday, uh, EA dropped Two different upgrade packs. We had multiple different SBCs, uh, a Gale Kalishi SBC. We got the Falcao uh, objective card and then the Super League Tots cards in our packs. But this upgrade right here, this upgrade SBC is just taking this game by storm at the moment. La Liga upgrade. It cost about 25,000 coins and that cost is rising. And we'll talk about that tonight. But uh, this SBC is unbelievably cracked. It's so much better than the four rare gold player one from the Premier League, because this one is 82 plus rated players guaranteed. You're guaranteed the higher ratings, which is making for some insane, insane pack pulls. I opened about 40 packs tonight of that pack right there, and I packed eight team of the seasons. You could tell my counter went from 13 to 21 tonight. These are the notable pulls. Carvel Hall, Sergio Ramos, and Diego Carlos. If you were a part of the stream, it was unbelievable, it was crazy. Uh, and these packs are legitly juiced. Um, I honestly am going to go out on a limb and say that they're going to be better than the packs that come out later this week on Thursday just because of that guaranteed high rating. And I hope this is the same pack that they put out for the rest of the leagues. Bundesliga, Serie A, and uh, League 1. Seriously, these packs are so, so good. And I want to talk about the La Liga rares because I know a lot of you guys have bought these ahead of time. And if you invested ahead of time, you definitely made some coins. GG's, right? I was a bit scared. I said, hey, I don't know if you guys are going to make coins on this because we don't see any new SBC in the code. But what EA did is they released that 82 plus double upgrade and they um, they they did it as a repeatable SBC today, which is awesome for the packs. But these cards rose up about a thousand coins and they're going to keep rising. And I want to talk about that. Uh, in this video today if you have any of these cards and just kind of talk about where the rest of the market is headed in the next two days and maybe about the guaranteed SBC as well so if you look at a lot of these cards this is the thing you're going to notice with a lot of these right a lot of these out here in the, on, especially if you're searching up some of the cards that people would have invested in right for this uh, when they were buying a La Liga rares like this Nacho left back probably was a pretty popular one to invest in look at this man two a lot of these are two number of owners number of owners two no games played what that tells me is people invested in these cards and they're realizing them to sell because they have two owners right that means somebody bought it didn't play any games and they're now selling it second owner right so the person who packed this is not selling it somebody who bought it is that tells me that still a lot of people are, are selling these cards i think that in the next two days all those people that went like hundreds of maybe thousands unassigned with these cards that supply is going to start draining up because these packs are gaining hype. These cards were at like 2,000 coins earlier today. And almost all of them, if you go on, on Footbin, I don't think there's any of these La Liga rares that are under 2,000 coins anymore. Yeah, they're all at 2.2K or above 2K. 2.1, 2.2K is what you have to kind of pay per card. So that means the SBC is looking like, you know, 24, 25K per pack almost. Uh, but it's it honestly it's worth it if you have some extra coins that you can expend even just doing like 10 packs and trying your luck they're insane they're seriously incredible insane packs blues are popping all the time and it's so much fun this is team of the season man this is why team of the season is so much freaking fun on fifa but if you have these rare gold cards if you don't have so many unassigned like that you have to just continue selling or else you're not going to be able to sell them on time um, depending on what situation and how many you have with these, uh, I would hold them because I think as long as we don't get any tradable pack supply in the next two days, I would expect these cards to start to reach upwards of maybe 2.7, 2.8K for most of these because people are going to get wind of how good these packs actually are and they're going to start to do them. They're going to continue to do them uh, and it's just going to make the prices rise even more and that's going to also suck more coins even more coins off of this market. Today, again, it's going to be a massive, massive coin sink day. You're seeing the La Liga's drop. These La Liga team of the season cards are definitely dropping in price. They're continually dropping because more and more people are losing coins because they're doing upgrade SBCs and they're waiting for the guaranteed team of the season SBC. So again, a lot of you guys are looking to buy these, right? 
when do we want to be buying these? Uh, we want to wait until that guaranteed SPC comes out. And according to Twitter, it has not been put in the code yet, the guaranteed uh, La Liga SBC. So I don't think it's going to be today on Tuesday. I would expect that SBC on Wednesday. So that means that we're going to be looking at late night, Tuesday night tonight, and then Wednesday morning, and then into the day Wednesday as kind of our buy time for a lot of those La Liga cards. As well, we had the um, we had Super League drop today. There's some pretty dope cards in here as well. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people packing these from the 81 plus double upgrade, the second pack that was uh, released today. And I'll talk about that in a second too. But if you want to buy one of these guys for your squad, right? They keep dropping. Let them drop the next day or the, the next day. Watch them tonight, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and into the day Wednesday. I do think you can see some more panic on those, especially when the guarantee is rumored to come out. And if it does come out, and that's when we're going to kind of want to look to make maybe some buys on out of pack special cards from La Liga as well after that guaranteed SBC comes out. Because once the guaranteed happens, again, everybody just starts thinking about team, team oriented. Okay, who can I, who did I get from that SBC that I can put in my team? How am I going to link around them? And of course, as we just get goes closer to Thursday anyway, people start thinking about link investments to these new cards. How can I make coins, right? A lot of people talk about this about Verde. A lot of people are talking about the Jao Felix FFS cards because, you know, 900K striker. I mean, this guy was 850 earlier today. Uh, Emerson, 99K for Emerson. I'm going to be fully honest with you guys right now. I have like 20 Emersons on my transfer list. Uh, all bought for around 100,000 coins. Uh, because I think this guy, as long as we don't get a right back card as a part of um, like an SBC or a player SBC that comes out during this promo, as long as we don't get one of those, I think this guy is going to do very well as a mid-tier budget right back investment. Uh, don't go crazy on it because, of course, it's early. He could still go down a little bit today and into tomorrow. Uh, but I bought some of those today just because I couldn't contain myself and I wanted to put some coins aside so that I wouldn't exactly spend them all on upgrade packs. So I bought some a couple of Griezmanns and then I have a bunch of Emersons that I have listed up. So that's kind of my investing stage right now. But I will be looking to buy some other La Liga out-of-pack specials. Um, so one interesting thing that I saw today is this Gareth Bale card. This Gareth Bale actually rose a decent amount. Like he was 800K flat and I think he had 860 at one point today. Right now he is 840K. Um, but a card like this is a rare card that a lot of people are going to want to use in their La Liga teams that they build this weekend. But what I would say is definitely take a watch on what cards maybe rebounded already a little bit after Sunday night into Monday. Take note of those cards and then possibly... You'll be able to flip them for a decent amount of profit as they rise even more into Thursday after rewards and into Friday night when we have the end of La Liga team of the season. So just keep an eye out for a lot of that kind of out of pack special card stuff in the next, you know, 24, 36 hour time frame. Uh, that's what I'd be very interested in uh, is starting to kind of look at those La Liga specials. Again, look in the range of like 250,000 coins to like a million coins and focus on the cards that fill a hole with this La Liga team of the season where there's not a lot of players, right? Like a mid-tier striker, if we have any of those. I said left wing before. We got Ansu Fadi now. That SBC goes away in like a day. Uh, but if you look at the rest of this team, we only have one right back. So some Meadow headliner card kind of interests me a little bit. Left back is definitely taken up with the Regulon objective, the Spurchiche guy. Uh, and now we have a Gale Kalishi SBC that's come out as well. That's why I kind of like the Semedo and I kind of like the Emerson because of the, we only have Carvajal as a right back. And let's say you maybe need a link to like, I don't know, you need a Barcelona link. So you're going to use, um, instead of using the Carvajal, you might end up using the Semedo headliner card. Or if you need a Brazilian link for Diego Carlos, or if they release a flashback Militao, then uh, you could get a link to a green link to a card like that as well. Speaking of flashback Militao, if we do get a big time SBC, I think they would maybe do it today on Tuesday, the day before the guaranteed, or they would drop it on Thursday. So either Tuesday or Thursday is what I think would be a bigger time SBC. 89 rateds, man, are still pretty low. 37K for some of these guys is really cheap. Koulibaly, Koulibaly is, is cheap. Griezmann out of packs is one of the cheapest 89s. That should ring an alarm in your head um, as a good investment. 88s are low, especially with the new TOTS cards. Uh, and some of the older team of the season cards out of packs are really low. 87s are low. So at 80, 
87s and above look really good for a club stock if you haven't got any of those. What do I think about the La Liga guaranteed SBC in terms of a rating? Based on the price of this squad, based on how it looks, and of course the potential to get somebody big, I think they're going to drop this as an 86 rated squad with one team of the season. They could go anywhere from 86 to 87 with the Tots, I think. But I think 86 is the best bet. So maybe stack up with some 86s as well. Do a club stock and a few of those if you need. 85s are a bit inflated, but they're not crazy high. 84s, same thing. But I really like the 87s and 88s because uh, all you need for an 86 rated squad is maybe two, three, or four of those. And then some 84s. And then boom, you've got an 86 rated squad. So I do kind of like some of this higher rated fodder for a club stock, especially if we did get a Militao or a... Um, a Valverde SBC. Some people have been talking about a Thomas Party SBC. So all that stuff is very possible this week, um, today, Tuesday, or Thursday, because I think Wednesday is going to be the guaranteed. That is what it seems, that Wednesday is going to be the guaranteed SBC. That's what it really, really seems. And that might be the schedule going forward. And then remember what we saw last week with Prem was we saw a bunch of panic when that SBC came out, which could happen again this week. That's why I'm saying the high tier stuff didn't get panicked as much. It was more like the middle tier, right? Like maybe a headliner Semedo or maybe even the um, the right back that I bought today, which I'm forgetting his name already, Emerson. Maybe these types of players would be the ones that get panic sold a little bit uh, on, on Wednesday when the guaranteed SBC would drop because people need to sell these to go do that SBC, right? That's what we saw a major sell-off for last week. I think it's possible that that happens again, although the SBC this week isn't expensive. So I wouldn't expect as much of a sell-off possibly. So that's just something to think about, right? Um, as you're going through and as you're thinking about stuff that you could um, be doing and looking for on the market on, you know, the next two days or so, right? I do think you could look at some of those those cards, if my controller would work, which it's not. I do think you look at some of those cards uh, in a little bit of a panic sell on Wednesday when that guaranteed comes out. So just watch the prices tonight, Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then whatever content we get today as well could cause some market movements. But I think mostly, man, the content they dropped on Monday was really the one that was that did it for us. I don't think people are doing the Gale Clichy that much. 85 rated squad for that. The French left back, but eh. The 81 plus double upgrade is really good too. Uh, and, you know, to be honest, if you want to grind one that's cheaper, you can do basically three of these packs for the cost of one of these La Liga upgrades. La Liga upgrades seem really good, but I've seen some people packing stuff from the 81 plus double upgrade as well. If you're just trying to, you know, just kind of crash out more packs instead of doing the more high quality ones. Uh, so that's something you could do as well. And I think that was all the content that we got today. We got Clichy. Uh, we got the upgrade packs. We got the, oh, Falcao objective. I didn't talk about that either. Did not talk about that. I want to talk about this because Falcao is a big card for a lot of people. You have six days to basically do this, right? Uh, it's done mostly through squad battles, but you do need some rivals, wins. But this is a pretty fun looking card, man. If you're a Gal Tesserai fan, I'm going to do like a little Columbia squad there with, with maybe a James Rodriguez special card. This Falcao, Falcao looks kind of beastly not the best but kind of beastly you know just a fun card and maybe just a sbc fodder if you really want to but again i would really strongly encourage you guys to do regulon and mariano if you got the time this week because those those are really really good but again for most of the week this week and for most of the day tomorrow i honestly think we're just going to continually see panic selling on the market uh for a lot of these la liga cards right uh suarez i think right now is 1.3 mil this guy earlier today was 127. So these guys fluctuate, man. These guys fluctuate because especially a guy like Suarez, who is getting very good reviews. A lot of people are talking about him. A lot of people want to try him in game. And he's not very packable. This would be one of the first cards that I think would rise quickly on a um, on a Wednesday after the guaranteed or something along those lines. I think you would see this guy rise up pretty quick after that. Maybe uh, a De Young as well. And you know this Diego Carlos, man. This is a very, very, very good card with really, really, really solid links. So this is a card that I would expect to rise up pretty quick in the um, after the guaranteed SBC comes out as well. Because think about it, from the guaranteed SBC, who are you going to be getting from that pack? To be honest, you're probably going to get like Carvajal. Wow, this guy's up like 20K right now, man. He was just 660 and now he's 700. This guy fluctuates a lot too. So that tells me a lot of people like this card and there's going to be a nice rebound on it 
from when he hits his lowest point in the next 36 hours or so. So again, if you're looking at team of the seasons, next 36 hours, uh, especially, and if you're looking at out of pack stuff, probably towards the, the later end of that 36 hours, like when we actually get the tots guaranteed, look for some panic selling around there, but you gotta be kind of quick because a lot of people are gonna be looking then and you're gonna start to see some stuff shoot up. So if there's stuff you wanna buy, make a plan, plot your team out, make a concept squad. I always encourage you guys to do that. Um, I'm going to have to either pack Ter Stegen or use my Courtois because I'm going to definitely use the cards that I pack tonight. Again, crazy insane pack look tonight on the stream. I'm going to have to try out Carvajal this weekend for weekend league probably. Ramos and then Diego Carlos is so good. I mean, I'm going to have to send Davo Luiz, I think, but I might have, figured, might have to figure something out. Oh, Ramos is on full chem. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure something out with the team. I think I might just have to start Cruyff right there because that would just, you know, put everybody on full chem since Rashford was not. So we'll see what I end up doing, man. I'll run Allison on 7 chem maybe if I need to or 8 chem because he's got the manager link. But uh, we'll see, man. This might be the team for the weekend league. I hopefully can pack a few more team of the season cards. But La Liga Tots has been so nice to me that 82 plus La Liga packs are juiced. So I would definitely try a few of those if you can. But it's just a really, like this, I don't know, man, this, these two upgrade SBCs for me today made FIFA, it really revived FIFA, especially with the good pack pulls that we got from it. If you were in the stream, I mean, you saw that was insane, right? A lot of other people are really stressing these packs and that's what people want to do midweek. So it's not going to change. We're going to see probably prices drop more after the weekend because people are continually losing coins during the week. So that's something we have to, you know, be aware of, but the coin injection on Thursday with the elite rewards is really pretty serious and people want to buy teams for weekend league. So I do think you're going to see an uptick in the market for the weekend league. We don't have to be scared about that. We don't have to be scared about the market dropping that much, really, at least headed into the weekend. So that's kind of like a market talk video for today. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, you can tell me your pack pulls and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.